And Christian, this is exciting. We have a, a new segment here. Uh, you know, obviously, we're big fans of kits, you know. Uh, my wife, not as much. She's like, could you get them out of here, please? There just okay. seems to be a lot. We we're um, running out of closet space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, she has like four times the amount of closet space I have. I'm not here to complain about it. Okay. Julian, yeah. if you want to talk about it, we'll chat later. Uh, it's a lot. Uh, but uh, obviously, look, there's th the whole thing with kids is, yo, I like this kid more. No, I like that kid. So we said, you know what? Let's just do a kid battle. So we're going to compare two jerseys, all right? And up first today, we have the 2021 DC United kit, okay? The new no joint. No specific reason to bring that one up since Julian is here. But yeah, the 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 marble joint, okay? I, uh, it's, when uh, I first it's, heard they were going marble, I'm like, yo, Arsenal, we did that already. I kind of like DCs. It's like a bit more subtle, you know? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's pretty chill. Honestly, I would, I, I wish it was a little bit more pronounced, uh, the marble. Because you you got to kind of like look, you got to squint a little bit, and then you're like, okay, now I, I see I see what they're doing. I like how you took what I said, and you were like, yeah, but no. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to compare that to the 2006 Germany World Cup kid. Also, no reason to do that since <laughs> Julian Gressel's here. Uh, Julian, were you a fan of the 06 Germany kid? Oh, I love that jersey. Just because, not just because it's simple in the design and, and the, you know, it, it just represents Germany in the design quite well, but what it means to me and, and what that time meant to so many Germans, I think there's just a deeper meaning behind it than just the design, right? So, you know, the time 2006 in Germany when the World Cup was hosted in Germany and it, it, it just, there was so much energy in the country and it was such a such an amazing time you know and, and it, was, it was so much fun so to see the team play in that kind of jersey and to see that jersey after now kind of just you know brings up some of those emotions again so it just means more than just the, the, the design when you have that little more of a connection with it same as you know with other jerseys that i've worn now you know you, you love certain jerseys that you just feel good in that you've won a couple of trophies in that you know they they will just yeah, always yeah. be have a special place <laughs> in See, yeah look. for you you look at a jersey like this and you think back to like you know you were a kid then and then this was happening in the country yeah. and all. i look at this kid and since i've never i don't play obviously i don't know if you know that about me I don't play at a very high level of soccer uh i look at this kid the first thing i think of is a, is a big dude wearing this is those curves they're gonna go right around your belly. I mean, it's like, you know what I mean? It looks like a parenthesis that, around yeah, your belly. Yeah, Julian, Julian Gressel, is that a thing you worry about? You know, <laughs> your belly being too pronounced? No, because it's abs. The, the whole world's saying, like, look, abs are here. For me, that's not what's happening. If I have to worry about my belly, I'm doing the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I see your point, I see your point. But, you know, like I said, I just feel like a jersey like that means more than just the design. and. You know, if it pronounces my belly in 15, 20 years when I wear it a little bit more, then so be it. Yeah, good. Look, I, we have the same energy. Yeah, I mean, but this looking at this jersey just yeah reminds you of uh, good times when 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 it comes to German football because uh, last couple of years have not been so great. Okay, they've been taking some a couple L's uh, in in you know in World Cups and international tournaments. So, what do you think they could turn things around? Yeah, of course. You know, I think Lurf has obviously been there quite a long time as a coach, um, but the talent's there, you know, the players are there. Um, so it's just a matter of finding the right balance, finding the right mix, and then getting, you know, everybody playing well at the same time. And, you know, Germany has always been a tournament team. You know, that's that's one thing that comes to mind when you think about the German teams usually. So I'm um, excited for the, for the Euros um, and, and kind of hopeful, obviously, that um, you know, they can, they can kind of erase some of those losses and then turn back uh, and then play for a title. We should have put up next year's Germany kit with next year's U.S. kit just to uh, anchor <laughs> the point even more. But looking at, looking at the D.C. United kit, I mean, do you you don't really do you care about the design or you're just happy the badge is there? That's your squad. Let's go play. No, I think it, it, it's cool to look at. You know, I think you want to have some sort of resemblance of, of what the club stands for, what the city stands for. You know, those little things I think matter. You know, they, obviously in the game they don't matter, but you know, when you when you are associated with the kit, you know, then I think it matters. And um, the marble obviously is, is a great way to associate uh, us with the DC. Um, there's a ton of marble in the city, <laughs> <laughs> obviously. So. Um, but, you know, it's a white jersey that, you know, we'll wear away from home that will kind of remind us of, of kind of where we come from a bit. So, 
um, you know, it's certainly certainly a good okay, one. Okay, and if, uh, I mean, we're going to put you in a really tough position here. If you had a pick, you could only wear one. You know, you have to, which is the winner? Which is the better kit right now? Okay, the, this, the 2021 DC United kit or the 2006 Germany kit? Which one elicits more feelings from you? Well, right now it's a Germany kit, but if we win MLS Cup in the 2021 <laughs> DC United kit, then I might have to change it. So uh, you'd be we'll like, see. get these parentheses off my belly. I just won MLS Cup. <laughs> okay, as, and if, for us, uh, Alexis, what are you picking? Which is which is your favorite kit out of these two? Dude, I love. You know me, I love old school kits. I've got the jacket actually from the 06, uh, the Germany jacket from the 06 World Cup. Uh, so I love, I love that kit. I love that squad. I love the whole thing around it. But if I had to pick. DC United's kind of dope. I like the marble, but Arsenal, I'm a big Arsenal fan. Arsenal already has marble, so I'm going to go with the whole world's going to see the parentheses around my belly. Let's do it. <laughs> it's going to look like a bagel, too, because you know, my belly button. I, I, it's going to be a lot. I look <laughs> I look at the uh, the Germany kit, and I, it just reminds me of the, the, the U.S. men's national team losing to Germany in the in the World Cup, and it just elicits too much negativity. I have, I have this, the 1990 uh, Germany kit that I like a bit more, so I'm going to pick the DC United kit, the 2020. It looks like, yeah, Germany wins right now. But <laughs> if DC United wins MLS Cup, Julian switches his vote and then DC wins. Right. So it's up to That's you, right. DC United. You know what I mean? <laughs>